welcome to Heavy Psych Sounds Festival here in Berlin, where I'm with Planet of Zeus from Greece. So, first of all, guys, how are you doing tonight here in Berlin? We're doing great. We're, we're very happy, very excited to be, be back in Berlin. We always have a good time here, so we can't wait to, to play our show tonight. Uh, yeah, yeah, two days back to back in Berlin mm. and then Dresden. Mm. Uh, what are your thoughts about this festival? Um, it's it's our first time here uh, because uh, it's our our, our last album uh, went out uh, through Heavy Psych Sounds uh, Records, so um, it's our first time in one of uh, the the companies <laughs> should yeah. I say what the labels in one of the labels uh, festivals. Lots of great bands, uh, lots of people. It's great, and we want more. Yeah. Okay, and what can we expect from uh, Planet of Zeus tonight? We usually do what we do, you know, uh, every night that we're gonna play. You no, know, we just try to have fun playing our music. Hopefully, the the audience <laughs> has a lot of fun as well. So, just have fun, you know. You know, rock and have roll. a good time. Classic rock and roll night. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what do live performances mean to you, mm. or what makes a good kick for you? Well, it, it depends. It, it can it it, it varies. It, it can be a uh, one night that the band plays very good, you know, and you know it when that happens. It can be a night that uh, uh, the band is not that good, but uh, the audience, you know, drags you with uh, the, um, the energy, and it turns out a good to be a good night. But in general, uh, I think a good a good show is uh, a show where uh, after after the show everyone should be happy you know everyone should be like out of energy <laughs> we want to feel that way like we gave everything and uh, receive everything back okay and uh, on the other side what kind of experience should uh, planet of zeus gig be for the listener mm. well, if i could say it and put it in one word it should be intense you know it has a lot of uh, groove uh, a lot of riffs, a lot of grooves. Uh, it's we, a bit dense. Yeah, it, we're all about live music. We think that rock and roll is is meant to be played live. You know, it's not a studio music. It's not an album music. It's a music that uh, turns into life when it's played in front of audience. So yes, it uh, we think it's it is intense. Okay, back to this festival. Uh, do you have any time to see other bands? Any favorites here? It's a pretty, pretty hectic in here. Uh, yeah, well, well, there's not a lot of time. We are, we are going to watch pretty much every band uh, tonight, except for the one playing right now. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but we're missing the bands that play at the other day, you know, because Dresden is uh, Dres Dresden has tonight the the lineup of tomorrow in Berlin. Mm -hmm. So there's other bands that we could have seen but we won't okay let's go to your music what are the inspirations uh, for your music and your lyrics mm. as far as the music is concerned i think that the list of bands that influences like through the years of us playing music and hearing music it's like almost endless low uh, if i could uh, measure it in a way it should be something like from classic rock of the 70s probably to some uh, classic heavy metal bands plus uh, all the new age bands that we and the age that we are right now you know grew with us something like that so yeah, it's, uh, the, 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 there's not one specific thing that you know inspired us I think it's the whole vibe of for this music yeah. you know Okay, and can you tell me a bit about your record that you mentioned, uh, released earlier this year, uh, Faith in Physics? Mm -hmm. Well, what about it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you know, we all read maybe the reviews, but uh, what are your own thoughts on the album? Well, well, you know, every time we make, everyone, every, every time an album is made, it it it's like a, a painting of uh, of who we are at that point in life, you know. Uh, I mean, if, if we did we did an album three years ago, and then three years before the, that there was another one, and every time it's a little bit different because we are different or, or times are different. Uh, we hope that we uh, 
cuts the vibe of the times. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, I, we think that the, the vibe of the times is somewhere around not, not faith and physics. People have faith in everything but, uh, you know, uh, the actual truth. So it's kind of worrying. <laughs> I think on this album there are many topics that are really up to date, like uh, the whole thing with uh, digitalization, the whole thing about the social media attitude, how in it influences Loneliness, people. Loneliness, maybe, uh -huh. yeah. So we felt that the time was right to express these things that in a way bother us, you know? We don't feel like good with them and, happening. And, and other than that, we, we just continue to play the, the kind of music that we like. It's, uh, we're not, we, we, we have never been very specific about what we want to play, you know? We're, we're not a classic stoner band, we know that. We're never, we never were a classic stoner band. Um, everything that it is uh, around uh, groove rock and uh, heavy tunes, that's what we can do in general. Uh, we think it's, it's a little bit more, uh, uh, how can I say it, it's a, little bit it's a little bit darker than everything that we've done so far, this album, because we are darker. <laughs> that's it. Okay, so uh, how was the creative process and the recording of this album? Um, I think that was the, fir the very first time for the band that we took our time to make the record. You know, like we recorded in different places, like the drums were recorded somewhere else, the guitars and the bass were recorded in our studio, the vocals somewhere else, and we took we took our time this time because we wanted like to get a distance. Uh, within the process of recording the album you know, just to get a distance and see and listen what it he a song needs more so because we had time we went back and uh, like fixing things all the time that's a real difference uh, yeah we had more we had more time to be creative not uh, we didn't experiment I mean, we didn't change music but we had more time to think over it and uh, rethink it or listen what we have so that's mainly that we, di we didn't have the the clock ticking you know what i mean okay and uh, what kind of li live album has it uh, turned out to be how is it to play the songs live now well it was difficult at first but we we did a lot of rehearsing i think we're good now i think we're good now but it was it was a little bit difficult you know every, every step we take we unintentionally do it a little bit harder for us you know it's like uh, creating a goal reaching the goal and then creating a new one to to go on okay any uh, live favorites from the album our favorites not yet not yet I think it's very it's, it's, it's early it's very soon it's, it's like soon. The, t tonight it's gonna be the third gig that we're doing like playing a new song so I think it's too early to judge right now. Time will tell. Okay, uh, you mentioned uh, that it's a very current album about uh, with its themes. We feel it. We yeah. feel that it is current. Yeah. Is there an ideology in your music, or does that play a part? Well, no. We are not justice warriors. You know, well, it's not. Uh, it's not a, a thing. Uh, a matter of ideology. It's a matter of human, of mankind. You know, of human being. I th we, I, we think that uh, we haven't yet sold basic things as uh, humanity, you know, as people. So it's not yet time to go to an ideology uh, state. First, we have to agree that everyone is equal with everyone else, you know what I mean? Everyone is free to do whatever, to uh, go with whoever or whatever he wants, you know. Uh, if these basic things like these basic matters uh, are solved one day, then we can talk about ideology. But first of all, we have to stop being flat earthers. You know what I mean? Like, first of all, we need to have some logic. After all, that's why our, we are human beings and not bears or like, you know, horses. We have mind, so we have to use it a little bit more in for our own, for our own sake, for our own good. Okay, and uh, back to Planet of Zeus. Uh, so what are the future plans? Oh, and, and we don't like races. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, future plans. Uh, 
actually we're doing like a, um, a half Greek to some gigs like tonight and tomorrow in Dresden for um, the promotion of our new album Faith in Physics. Uh, after Dresden we're going back to Greece, we have like four shows remaining in uh, other cities uh, of Greece and our hometown Athens. Uh, and then on uh, late February we're going on tour with uh, the band Kvelertak, the Norwegian guys. Uh, we're gonna do like a big run around Europe and uh, we can't wait for it. Yeah, we can't wait for it. We like That's the uh, immediate future plans yeah. for Planet of Zeus and then, right now. Uh, probably more touring, but we don't know yet. <laughs> okay, then what would be uh, like a dream come true with the band? Mm. To actually make a living out of it? <laughs> yeah, that would be not? it. I mean, we, we, are, we had the luck uh, that, uh, that we kind of, kind of made it just in Greece, you know? We are kind of bigger in Greece that, than we are at, at other countries. Uh, so we, we, we're not... Um, I mean, we had fame, you know, we don't really care about it, you know, uh, it's, everyone likes it, you know, it's nice, but we have, uh, we are 35 years old now, pretty much all of us, like 35 to 37, uh, we would actually love to have the chance to live out of music, just to have more time to play more music, because everything else we do, like day jobs, we don't have actual day, day jobs, but we have other jobs to you know, to make a living. Uh, if we didn't have this, I, I think we would be a better band. And, and very happier as people. Okay, thank you so much. And all we the best. Thank you. Thank you.